Hello, this is Sujit. Welcome to Physics 2020. So, let me continue my discussion in the topic that is motion under gravity. So, in the previous section, we were discussing about the concepts of motion under gravity. So, what are the things we have discussed? Uh, what is motion under gravity? What is free fall? Uh, how the kinematic equations can be applied for uh, motion under gravity? And uh, two types of motion we have discussed. Suppose uh, body is dropped from a certain height. Uh, what is the time taken by the body to reach the ground? Uh, what is the maximum velocity attained by the body uh, when reaching the ground? Uh, so these are the expressions we derived in the previous section. So another type of motion we have discussed. Uh, suppose a body is projected vertically upwards with a certain velocity. You, what is the maximum height reached by the body? What is the time taken to reach the maximum height? Uh, <coughs> what is the uh, velocity of the body when reaching the maximum height? Uh, and what is the time of flight? That is the time taken for upward motion and a downward motion. Okay. So these are the things we have discussed in the uh, previous section, the concept section of uh, uh, motion under gravity. So also we have discussed the sign convention that is because uh, when we solve the problems the sign convention is very very important. So for that uh, what we have done that is uh, considering the ground as the frame of reference. Okay, Frame of reference um, if the velocity or displacement uh, if we measure from the ground okay, from the ground uh, we will take it as positive. Okay, the vector because uh, uh, displacement velocity these are vector quantities. Uh, so the direction is very much important. So if you consider for the upward motion, okay, upward motion, uh, this displacement velocity are considered as positive. And uh, for the downward motion, this displacement, uh, displacement velocity are considered as negative. And what about G? That is uh, acceleration due to gravity. So whether it is a upward motion or downward motion. So, G is always negative. Okay, G is always negative. So, these are the things we have discussed in the concept session, the previous section of uh, motion under gravity. So, in this section, we are going to solve the problems which comes under the motion under gravity. Okay, fine. So, the first question you want. First question. Okay. A stone, a stone is thrown vertically upwards, vertically upwards with velocity, with velocity u. Okay. So find one time time taken to reach the maximum height the maximum height time taken to reach the maximum height two maximum height Maximum height attained by the stone. Attained by the stone. Two. Three. Time taken. Time taken to reach the initial position. Okay. Initial position. So, these are the things we have to find out. So, listen, a stone is thrown vertically upwards with velocity u. Okay, so we have to find one, the time taken to reach the maximum height. So, maximum height attained by the stone and three, time taken to reach the initial position. Okay, so listen here, consider this is a stone. This stone is thrown vertically upwards with velocity u okay velocity u so we know that uh, when the stone goes upwards so the speed decreases okay speed decreases because of the gravitational force okay gravitational force so the stone uh, 
goes like this so when it goes up the speed of the stone decreases and at a certain point certain point so the speed of the stone becomes zero am I right zero so this is the uh, where the point uh, where the final speed of the stone becomes zero that is the maximum height okay maximum height attached uh, attained by the stone okay so let it be height okay height so what we have to find out um, we have to find the time taken to reach the maximum height okay so i am using the uh, listen here uh, a stone uh, which is thrown vertically upwards with velocity u so when the stone goes upwards the speed decreases continuously because of the gravitational force and at a certain point the speed becomes zero okay speed becomes zero so that is the maximum height attained by the stone let it be height okay height so we have to find the time taken to reach the maximum height so i am using the kinematic equation uh, v is equal to u plus at okay v is equal to u plus at so when the time it the stone becomes a uh, stone uh, reaches the maximum height the speed is equal to so the final velocity v is equal to zero u is equal to u is equal to plus u because the stone is uh, thrown vertically upwards u is equal to plus u so a is equal to minus g because the acceleration is always negative okay a is equal to minus g so t we have to find out okay so substitute the values 0 is equal to u plus minus g t okay so from this minus g t is equal to minus u so this minus minus cancel so from this t is equal to u by g t is equal to u by g so this is the time taken by the stone to reach the maximum height okay right then the second session maximum height attained by the stone okay so i'm using the kinematic equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as okay when the stone reaches the maximum height final velocity is equal to zero u is equal to initial velocity u is equal to plus u am i right uh, then acceleration a is equal to minus g s is equal to so that is the displacement displacement is nothing but the height reached by the stone so s is equal to height is equal to we have to find out so substitute the values that is 0 minus u square is equal to 2 into minus g into uh, instead of s you can substitute height okay so this minus minus cancel 2g h is equal to u square so we have to find h is equal to u square by 2g okay u square by 2g so this is the maximum height reached by the stone h is equal to u square by 2g so then the third part time taken to reach the initial position okay initial position so the stone is uh, thrown vertically upwards with the velocity u and uh, finally it reaches the when it goes up the speed decreases decreases continuously decreases uh, because of the gravitational force and uh, finally at a certain point the speed becomes zero so from this point the stone comes down okay comes down so comes down to the initial position okay initial position so it is asked to time taken to reach the initial position how much time the stone will take so from this point to go to the maximum height and to come down okay come down so while we were discussing the concepts uh, i told that so in the absence of air resistance in the absence of any frictional force in the absence of any viscous force offered by the medium or otherwise we can say in the absence of any thrust offered by the medium so the time taken by the object for the upward motion is equal to the time taken by the object for the downward motion that is time of s yes, time of ascent a s yes, time of ascent is equal to time of descent d s yes, okay time of ascent is equal to time of descent okay so 
what is the time taken for the ascent that is support motion we already derived t is equal to u by g so the same amount of time it will take for the downward motion so therefore the time of flight okay time of flight time of flight is called the total time for the upward motion and the downward motion so it is represented by the letter capital t so t is equal to 2 times of t okay t so that's equal to 2 what is t that is u by g okay u by g so therefore t is equal to t u by 2 u by g right correct so this is the time taken by the stone to reach the initial position clear okay so Second question, a stone is dropped, a stone is dropped from the, from the top of a tower, from the top of a tower of height of height 20 meter a stone is dropped dropped from the top of a tower of height 20 meter so find find one <coughs> time time taken by the stone time taken by the stone to reach the ground to reach the ground two speed of the stone speed of the stone just before just before hitting the ground Okay, so a stone is dropped from the top of a tower of height 20 meter. Find the time taken by the stone to reach the ground, speed of the stone just before hitting the ground. So consider, so this is a tower. Okay, this is a tower of height uh, 20 meter of height 20 meter okay. a stone is on the top of the tower okay it is just dropped okay a stone is dropped from the top of a tower. A stone is dropped. Okay, dropped. A stone is not thrown. Okay. A stone is just dropped from the top of a tower. That is ah, initial velocity of the initial velocity of the stone is equal to zero. U is equal to zero. A stone is thrown means it has some other value. The initial velocity has some other value. A stone is thrown with a velocity 5 meter per second, 10 meter per second. A stone is dropped means uh, initial velocity is equal to 0. Okay. So, uh, this is the ground level. This is the ground level. Okay, this is the ground level. Okay. So, time taken by the stone to reach the ground. So, a stone is dropped from the 
top of the tower so that stone comes down and finally it reaches the ground level that is the bottom of the tower okay bottom of the tower so we have to find uh, the time taken by the stone to reach the ground so how much time the stone will take to reach the ground okay so i am using the kinematic equation s is equal to ut plus half at square okay so here s is the displacement not the distance okay s is the displacement okay so when the stone is dropped from the top of a tower and it reaches the ground how much distance the stone will uh, the stone will travel it is just equal to the height of the tower okay that is 20 meter so here s is the displacement so we measure that is when the stone uh, displacement is measured for the downward motion okay downward motion so therefore s is equal to 20 meter so <coughs> so s is for that s is considered or s is measured for the downward motion so s is equal to minus 20 meter okay minus 20 meter so u is equal to 0 initial velocity is 0 acceleration so for this question uh, <coughs> it is given in the question that is g is equal to 10 meter per second square okay 10 meter per second square so a is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 meter per second square okay so t we have to find out okay so substitute the values so minus 20 is equal to ut that uh, term becomes 0 because u is 0 so half minus 10 into t square okay so this minus minus cancel so 2 5 okay so 5 t square is equal to 20 okay so t square is equal to 20 by 5 okay so 4 times okay 4 times 4 times so t square is equal to t square is equal to 4 so t is equal to plus or minus 2 okay t is equal to plus or minus 2 so the time cannot be negative okay so you can take the positive value so t is equal to t is equal to 2 second that is the answer t is equal to 2 seconds so that is the uh, time taken by the stone to reach the ground clear so we are using the uh, kinematic equation s is equal to ut plus of at square so here s is the displacement not the distance so we when we measure the distance of uh, displacement from uh, top to bottom okay for the downward motion so s is equal to minus 20 okay minus 20 so while we are discussing the uh, concept we will told that is a ground as a reference point so if uh, displacement velocity or are measuring that is for the upward motion it will be considered as a positive for the downward motion it will be considered as negative okay so s is equal to minus 20 so substitute the values you will get the answer okay then the next turn second part that is the time speed of the stone okay speed of the stone just before hitting the ground so the stone is dropped from the top of a tower and it reaches the ground okay it reaches the ground so we have to find the speed of the stone just before okay just before hitting the ground so when it hit the ground the speed becomes zero so just before means some 0 0.00 seconds uh, before the before hitting the ground okay okay so what is the speed so we are using the kinematic equation that is v square minus u square is equal to 2as okay so v is the final speed of the stone we have to find out so u is equal to 0 acceleration a is equal to minus g is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 meter per second square so s is equal to again displacement so how much displacement it uh, travel that is minus 20 okay minus 20 meter so substitute the values so v square minus um, 
u square that is 0 is equal to 2 into minus 10 into minus 20. So, v square is equal to minus into minus plus 10 into 20, 200, 200 into 2 that is 400, okay 400. So, v is equal to, uh, v is equal to plus or minus 20, okay v is equal to plus or minus 20. So, v is equal to plus 20 meter per second that is the speed, okay that is the speed of the stone. So, v is equal to v is equal to minus 20 meter per second that is the velocity okay velocity so speed means that is uh, only magnitude okay only magnitude so v is equal to minus 20 means with the direction so so the velocity is acting in the downward direction okay downward direction so we have to take it as negative so v is equal to minus 20 meter per second means that is the velocity v is equal to plus 20 meter per second that is the speed okay only magnitude so without sign okay only magnitude so the velocity so here the velocity is acting in this direction right velocity is acting in this direction so the exact answer for velocity is equal to v is equal to minus 20 minus 20 j cap okay v is equal to minus 20 j cap that is the exact answer for velocity so the velocity is acting in the negative y direction okay negative y direction so this is uh, x axis positive x so this is negative x um, this is y direction positive y and this is negative y so the velocity in this point the velocity is acting in the negative y direction so v is equal to minus 20 jacob jacob is the uh, unit vector in the negative y direction okay so in our question that is uh, it is asked the speed of the stone just before hitting the ground so speed only so v is equal to the answer is v is equal to 20 meter per second okay clear So, third question, a stone, a stone is thrown, a stone is thrown vertically upwards, vertically upwards with velocity vertically upwards with with velocity 5 meter per second 5 meter per second uh, from the top of a tower from the top of a tower okay of height of height 20 meter okay of height 20 meter find 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 the maximum the maximum height the maximum height of the stone the maximum height of the stone from the ground okay so the maximum height of the stone from the ground so so understand the question so there is a tower okay there is a tower of height 20 meter of height 20 meter so from the top of the tower a stone is thrown vertically upwards okay so vertically upwards with velocity so u is equal to 5 meter per second okay 5 meter per second so from the top of the tower a stone is thrown vertically upwards with the uh, velocity 5 meter per second 
so we have to find the maximum height of the stone from the ground okay so as the stone is thrown vertically upwards from the top of the tower so it so the speed as the stone goes upwards the speed of the stone goes on decreasing because of the gravitational force and at a certain point the speed of the stone becomes zero so that is the maximum height attained by the stone uh, from the top of the tower okay so it goes that is the speed decreases and at a certain point okay certain point so the speed of the stone is equal to zero okay speed of the stone is equal to zero so that is the height reached by the height reached that is let it be small height okay small height uh, reached from the top of the tower okay so what is asked to find in our question we have to find the maximum height of the stone uh, from the ground okay from the ground so this is the ground level okay this is the ground level so this is the ground level okay so from this ground level what is the maximum height reached by the stone so we have to find this height okay see so this height attained by the stone so after that so add the height of this uh, tower 20 so we will get the maximum height of the stone attained okay from the ground so okay <coughs> so from the uh, top of the tower we are considering this motion okay this motion so i am using the equation that is um, uh, v square <coughs> v square minus u square is equal to 2as okay i am using the kinematic equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as so <coughs> v is equal to 0 okay v is equal to 0 u is equal to plus 5 meter per second so the stone is thrown vertically with the velocity u is equal to 5 meters per second so u is equal to plus 5 means the stone is thrown upwards okay <coughs> acceleration so in the question it is given uh, a is equal to 10 meter per second square okay so a is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 uh, meter per second square okay so yes yes is equal to so the displacement traveled by that is nothing but the height of the <coughs> stone from the top of the tower yes is equal to height so we have to find out okay substitute the values 0 minus u square that is 5 square that is 25 okay so 25 is equal to 2 into uh, minus 10 into uh, then height okay <coughs> minus 10 into height okay so minus minus cancel uh, 2 into 10 that is 20 height is equal to 25 so height is equal to 25 by 25 by 10 so cancel uh, 4 times okay so this is 5 times okay so 5 <coughs> 4 okay so 1 4 that is uh, uh, 1 uh, point uh, 0 uh, 2 times 8 then 2 then 5 times that is 1.25 okay so height is equal to 1.25 meter so this height is so the from the top of the tower the maximum height reached by the uh, stone is 1.25 meter so in our question what is asked the maximum height of the stone from the ground so we have to find the maximum height attained by the stone from the ground so it is nothing but so let it be uh, let it be the uh, height of the tower is capital h okay capital h so capital h plus small h capital h plus small h is the maximum height attained by the stone from the ground so that's equal to 20 plus 1.25 so that's equal to 21.25 meter that is the answer 21.25 meter Kadam. okay then so so in the same question
find the time to find the time uh, the store the stone uh, is at the mean position okay find the time uh, find the time the stone is at the mean position so mean position is nothing but uh, this is the position the stone uh, the position at which the stone is projected the stone is thrown that is called the mean position so this is the position okay so we have to find the time the stone is at the mean position this position okay so the stone is uh, thrown with the velocity u is equal to 5 meter per second and it reaches the maximum height v is equal to 0 so after that so, so the stone comes down and reaches this position okay reaches this position okay <coughs> so we have to calculate the time so uh, v is equal to u plus a t. So, this is the mean position. Uh, mean position. Mean position. Okay. <coughs> so, the stone is projected uh, with velocity is equal to 5 meter per second. It reaches the maximum height and comes down to the mean position. Okay. So, v is equal to i am using the kinematic equation uh, v is equal to u plus at okay so when it reaches the maximum height so v is equal to 0 okay u is equal to plus 5 meter per second a is equal to minus d is equal to minus 10 meter per second square so t i am find out so substitute the values so 0 is equal to 5 plus minus 10 into t okay so minus 10 t is equal to minus 5 minus minus cancel okay t is equal to 5 by 10 okay 5 by 10 that's equal to 0 0.5 second 0 0.5 second so the time taken by the stone to reach the maximum height is 0 0.5 second so in the absence of air resistance uh, <coughs> so we are considering all these motions that is um, uh, motion under gravity all the motion we are considering it is happening at vacuum okay vacuum so so we studied that is uh, we discussed the time taken for the upward motion is equal to the time taken for the downward motion so definitely the time this is the time for upward motion that is t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds so definitely the time taken for the downward motion is yes t is equal to uh, 0 point 0 point 0.5 seconds Okay, so the total time taken by the stone from this position and again to reach the same position is uh, that is t is equal to 1 second, t is equal to 1 second, clear, t is equal to 1 second. So, this is the time at which the stone is at the mean position, okay, time t is equal to 1 second, okay. Suppose, listen here, uh, suppose instead of V is equal to this method, I am using the uh, kinematic equation, S is equal to ut plus half a t square, S is equal to ut plus half a t square. So, I am considering the entire motion, okay, so the ball is projected from this uh, point to, it reaches the maximum point and it comes down the main position, okay, main position. I am using the kinematic equation S is equal to ut plus half a t square. Okay. So, here S is the displacement, S is not the distance. Always keep in mind, S is not the distance, S is the displacement. So, when you consider this motion, so from this point, so it reaches the maximum point and it comes down. So, what is the displacement travelled by the body? So, why definition what is displacement? Displacement is nothing but the distance between the initial point and the final point is called displacement. So, the body the stone starts from here and again it comes to this position. So, the displacement is equal to yes 0 displacement is equal to 0. So, initial velocity u is equal to plus 5 meter per second right then 
ए इज ईक्वल टू माइनस जी इज ईक्वल टू माइनस टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ओके टी वी हाव टू फाइंड आउट सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज सीरो इज ईक्वल टू ओके सो सीरो इज ईक्वल टू यू टी दैट इज फाइव टी ओके फाइव टी प्लस प्लस हाफ इंडू माइनस टेन इंडू ओके माइनस टेन इंडू टी स्क्वायर ओके सो टू टू दैट इज फाइव ओके सो फाइव टी माइनस फाइव टी स्क्वायर इज ईक्वल टू सीरो ओके सो फाइव टी कैन टेक कॉमनली आउट साइड फाइव टी दैट इज वन माइनस टी इज ईक्वल टू सीरो सो दैट इज फाइव टी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो और वन माइनस टी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो टी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो और टी इज ईक्वल टू वन सेकेंड सो Uh, the ball starts from here and it reaches the mean position. When we find the time using this equation, we are getting two values. That is, t is equal to t is equal to zero second and t is equal to one second. Okay, this answer is okay. T is equal to one second. So in the previous method, that is, when we apply the equation v is equal to u plus at, we got the same answer. T is equal to one second. So in this method, we are getting that is for the two values for the time. T is equal to zero and t is equal to one second. Which is the answer? T is equal to zero or T is equal to one second. That means T is equal to one second means okay. One second means the ball is projected, so our ball is thrown with the velocity and it reaches this position. Okay, reaches this position and it comes to this position. So it takes one second. One second. So the ball is that is in the question find the time the stone is at the mean position. Okay, mean position. At the time t is equal to one second, the stone is again at the mean position. At the time t is equal to zero means t is equal to zero means the ball is not projected. Okay, ball is not thrown. So before uh, before projecting the stone, projecting the stone, the stone is at the mean position. Okay, mean position. The stone is at the mean position. So from that position only we projected. We projected. Okay, so before projecting the stone, the stone is at the mean position. So that is t is equal to zero. At the time t is equal to zero, uh, so that it means just before projecting the stone. Okay, just before projecting the stone, the stone is at the mean position. So that is t is equal to zero. T is equal to zero. Okay, so after projecting, so we projected. So with the velocity five meter per second, it reaches the maximum height. Okay, maximum height, and it comes down again to the same position. That is t is equal to one second. So the time taken by the stone to reach the maximum height and come to the mean position is t is equal to one second. So before projecting, the ball is at the mean position. That is t is equal to zero second. Clear? Okay. So very good concept, huh? Yes. <coughs> so the the same question in the same question the third question third question time taken by the time taken by the stone time taken by the stone to reach the ground to reach the ground so here time taken by the stone to reach the ground the stone is so from the top of the tower the stone is projected with velocity 5 meter per second so the stone uh, reaches the height h and again come down to this position uh, come down to this position and from this position the stone comes to the comes to the ground okay so finally the stone is at this ground so time taken by the stone to reach the ground time taken by the stone to reach the ground so again so s is equal to ut plus half at square so what is the displacement traveled in this case displacement what is the value of displacement in this case so the stone is projected uh, projected uh, 
uh, projected with velocity 5 meter per second it the reaches the position and it comes to this position and uh, it comes to the ground it comes to the <coughs> ground okay so what is the displacement so displacement is nothing but the distance between the initial point and the final point so this is the initial point am i right so this is the initial point okay what is the final point of the stone so this is the final point so this much distance is the displacement okay displacement okay <coughs> so what is this distance that is distance of the that is tower the height of the tower that is 20 meter so distance uh, for the downward motion so s is equal to right s is equal to s is equal to minus 20 meter okay s is equal to minus 20 meter u is equal to plus 5 meter per second so we are considering the entire motion okay the ball from this point we are considering the motion that is the ball is projected with uh, 5 meter per second okay 5 meter per second so u is equal to 5 meter per second okay a is equal to acceleration is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 meter per second square okay so t we have to find out so that is the time taken by the stone to reach the ground okay so substitute the values minus 20 is equal to ut that is 5t plus half into minus 10 into t square okay 2 uh, 5 okay 5 so minus 20 is equal to 5t uh, minus minus uh, minus 5 t square okay 5 t square so divide the equation by 5 so minus uh, 4 is equal to uh, uh, t minus t square so t square minus t minus 4 is equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation in t this is the quadratic equation in t so if you solve this quadratic equation uh, you will get the, the value for time so that is one positive value and one negative value so ignore the negative value take the positive value so i think uh, uh, the time so approximately we will get the value that is t is equal to 2.5 seconds t is equal to 2.5 seconds so by factorization we can't solve this equation so solve this uh, quadratic equation that is uh, minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a so by that method you solve this quadratic equation you get one positive value and one negative value so can ignore the negative value because time cannot be negative so take the positive value i think approximately t is equal to 2.5 seconds so that is the time taken by the stone to reach the ground it's the ground okay so one more question from this uh, uh, the from the same question so fourth part okay fourth part Uh, yes fourth part that is speed of the stone speed of the stone just before just before hitting the ground speed of the stone just before hitting the ground speed of the stone just before hitting the ground so the stone is projected uh, thrown with the vertical velocity initial velocity 5 meter per second the stone reaches the maximum height okay maximum height and it comes down to the mean position and again it comes to the ground so we have to find so the speed of the stone just before okay just before some 0 0.000 second before hitting the ground okay hitting the ground so speed so v square minus u square is equal to 2as so that is the 
equation we are facing. Okay, v square minus u square is equal to 2s. So, v we have to find out that is the final speed. Okay, so u is equal to, so the ball is projected with vertical velocity that is 5 meter per second. Okay, so a is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10, minus 10 meter per second square. So, what is s? So, this is a displacement. So, in this case also, what is the displacement? The ball is projected uh, <coughs> and reaches the maximum. It comes to this position and reaches the main position. So, what is displacement? Displacement is nothing but the uh, distance between starting point and the final point. So, what is the starting point? This is the starting point. So, this is the final point. So, what is this much distance? That is 20. So, for downward motion. So, S is equal to, S is equal to, come on, S is equal to minus 20 meter. Kadam. So, substitute the values that is uh, v square minus u square that is 25 is equal to 2 into minus 10 into yes that is minus 20. Okay. So, v square minus 25 is equal to minus into minus plus. Okay. 10 into 20, 200, 200 into 2 that is 400. So, v square is equal to 425. Okay, 425. So, v is equal to plus or minus square, square root of 425. So, v is equal to v is equal to v is equal to uh, root of root of 425 meter per second. That is the speed. Okay, speed just before hitting the ground. v is equal to root of 425 meter per second is the speed. So, v is equal to minus root of 425 meter per second. What is it? That is velocity. Okay, velocity. So, the velocity is in the downward direction. So, that is why minus. Okay, minus. So, the exact answer for velocity is that is the velocity is acting in the yes. So, if you split the direction. Okay. So, uh, uh, yes, this is y. So, this is minus y. So, x minus x. So, velocity is acting in the negative y direction. So, in this direction, the velocity is acting in the negative y direction. So, we can say that if j vector is the j vector is the unit vector in the y direction. So, v is equal to minus root of 425 j cap. Okay. v is equal to minus root of 425 j cap. That is the exact answer for velocity. So, when we study in the next chapter, when we study the vectors, so, these ideas will be very clear and these uh, things we will uh, explain very clearly. Okay. So, anyway, for the time being, that is the sp uh, speed of the stone just before hitting the ground means that is V is equal to root of 425 meter per second. So, that is the answer. Clear? So, a boy is sitting, okay, next question that is fourth question, a boy is sitting on the top of a tower, so this is a tower, a boy is sitting A boy is sitting. A boy is sitting on the top of a tower. Okay. Okay. He is uh, dropping balls at the rate of uh, in the regular interval of that is one second. Okay. He is uh, dropping balls. In a regular interval of regular interval of one second. Okay, one second. He's dropping balls. 
so we have to find find the distance of separation find the find the distance of distance of separation find the distance of separation uh, between between the second and uh, second and third ball okay second and third ball when when he is about to he is about to drop he is about to drop the sixth ball okay so he is dropping the balls at a regular interval of one second okay one second so we have to find the distance of separation between the second ball and the third ball when he is about to drop the sixth ball okay when he is ready to drop the sixth ball so in his hand uh, uh, so he is going to drop the sixth ball okay so this is the sixth ball uh, so one second uh, before this ball he has dropped the yes that is fifth ball right fifth ball two seconds before he has dropped the yes fourth ball okay uh, three seconds before he has dropped the third ball okay uh, <clears throat> four seconds before okay four seconds before he has dropped the second ball okay second ball so <clears throat> okay we have to find the uh, find the distance of separation between the second and the third ball so how much uh, uh, separation so okay distance of how much distance it is separated the second and the third ball when he is about to drop the sixth ball sixth ball uh, when he is uh, when the sixth ball is being dropped when the sixth ball is being dropped okay you understand the situation okay so let uh, uh, let s be the distance of separation between the third and the second ball okay second ball so we can so what we are going to do is um, we are going to find the position of the second ball okay position of the second ball and uh, from from his hand okay from his hand uh, we are going to find the position of the second ball and also the position of the third ball from his hand okay subtract the position of the third ball from the second ball we will get the distance of separation between the third and the second ball okay so this uh, uh, the so we are using the equation that is one second before that is one second before he has dropped the one second before he has dropped the fifth ball okay so two seconds when he when the sixth ball is in his hand that is one second one second before he has dropped the fifth ball so two seconds before he has dropped the fourth ball three seconds before he has dropped the third ball and four seconds four seconds before he has dropped the second ball okay so i'm using the equation that is s is equal to ut plus half a t square okay s is equal to ut plus half a t square so first we are i am going to find the position of the second ball okay yes yes second okay yes second is equal to so he is just dropping the balls okay dropping the balls so initial velocity is equal to zero okay uh, <coughs> a is equal to uh, time so the time t is equal to for the second ball that is equal to four seconds 
ओके फोर सेकेंड ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस जी इट इज कंसिडर दैट इज टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एक्सलरेशन ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द सेकेंड बॉल फ्रॉम हिस हैंड ओके ये सेकेंड इज इक्वल टू सो दिस टर्म सीरो यू टी यू इज सीरो सो दिस टर्म सीरो दैट इज हाफ माइनस टेन ओके माइनस टेन इंडू टी स्क्वायर सो दैट इज फोर स्क्वायर ओके सो दैट इज इक्वल टू सो टू फाइव सो फाइव इंडू सिक्सटीन ओके फाइव इंडू माइनस फाइव ओके माइनस फाइव इंडू सिक्सटीन दैट इज इक्वल टू दैट इज माइनस एटी सो यस सेकेंड सो दिस इज द डिसमेंट बिकॉज यस इज द डिसमेंट सो वेन द डिसमेंट Uh, if in the downward direction for the downward motion so we are getting minus okay s second is equal to minus eight so we have to consider only the magnitude okay magnitude that is distance only okay so s second is equal to 80 so minus 80 so s second is equal to 80 so uh, we have to consider only the distance okay right s second next so the distance of the third ball from his hand so yes third is equal to so same equation u t plus half a t square so u is equal to zero t is equal to that is three second okay three second um, a is equal to minus g is equal to minus ten minus ten meter per second square so yes we have to find okay so yes third is equal to first to the value that is half Minus ten into that is three square that is nine. Okay, so five. So minus five into nine. So that is equal to minus forty five. So here also the displacement minus forty five. So we have to consider we have to take only the uh, distance. So s is equal to uh, yes. That is equal to that is forty five. Now we know the distance of uh, distance of the second ball and also we know the distance of the third ball so so from this distance okay from this distance uh, if you minus the distance of the third ball we will get that is uh, the distance of separation between the third and the second ball okay second ball so here Therefore, S is equal to. So this is the uh, separation. That is the distance of separation between the third and the second ball is yes. So S is equal to yes. Yes, second minus. Okay, yes, second minus. Yes, third. So that's equal to. So that's equal to yes, second. That is eighty minus yes, third. That is. Forty-five. Okay, so forty. Um, then thirty-five meter. So S is equal to thirty-five meter. Okay, thirty-five meter. So this is this much distance is this much distance is uh, yes second right. uh yes second so this much distance this much distance is that is yes third okay yes third so if you subtract from this yes second distance is third distance subtract means you will get this much distance only okay this much distance only so that is the distance of separation between the third and the second ball so concept clear okay
सो फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन A ball is uh, a stone is projected vertically upwards. A stone, okay, stone is projected vertically upwards. Okay, stone is projected vertically upwards with the velocity u is equal to twenty-eight meter per second. Okay, twenty-eight meter per second. So, what is the we have to find? find the speed of the stone speed of the stone one second one second before uh, one second before uh, reaching the maximum height maximum height find the speed of the stone one second before reaching the maximum height okay uh, this is a stone the stone is uh, thrown vertically upwards with a velocity u is equal to 28 meter per second so we have to uh, find the speed of the stone one second before reaching the maximum height so we know that uh, so a yeah, stone is projected that is it goes when it goes upwards that is the speed Uh, goes on decreasing because of the uh, gravitational force. Okay, at a certain point, at a certain point, so the speed becomes zero. Speed becomes zero. Okay. Speed becomes zero. So let uh, this height be the maximum height attained by the stone. Let it be h. Okay, h. Okay. So we have to find uh, the maximum uh, the speed of the stone one second before. Okay, one second uh, before reaching the maximum height. So this for this question, first we have to find the time for reaching the maximum height. Then only we can fix the uh, time that is one second uh, one second uh, before the uh, before the time. Okay, before the time for reaching the maximum height. So first we have to find the time for Reaching the maximum height. So in this question, so I am using the kinematic equation. So v is equal to u plus a t. Okay. So when it reaches the maximum height, v is equal to final velocity is equal to zero. Okay. So u is equal to plus. Right. So the stone is projected with the velocity 28 meter per second. Okay. 28 meter per second. So a is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 meter per Second square. Okay, so t is equal to. So we have to find out. So the time taken by the stone to reach the maximum height. Okay, so zero substitute the value. Zero is equal to u. That is twenty-eight plus minus ten into t. Okay, so minus ten t is equal to minus twenty-eight. Minus minus cancel. Okay, t is equal to twenty-eight by ten. So that is equal to 2.8 second okay 2.8 second so t is equal to 2.8 second so the time taken by the stone to reach the maximum height is 2.8 second so in our question what is asked to find the speed of the stone one second before okay one second before means 2.8 minus 1 2.8 minus 1 that is equal to 1.8 okay Two point eight minus one, that is one point eight. So at the time one point eight second, what is the speed of the stone? So let at this point, okay, let at this point. So the time is one point eight seconds. So what is the speed of the stone? That is, let it be b. Okay. So again, we are using the same kinematic equation. That is, v is equal to u plus a t. V is equal to u plus a t. Okay, so this question is from H C Verma. Okay, H C Verma's book. Okay, so V is equal to U plus A T. So in this case, V we have to find out that is the final velocity. Okay, final velocity or final speed. So U is equal to plus 
28 meter per second. The stone is uh, projected vertically upwards with the 28 meter per second. So a is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 meter per second square. Okay, minus per second square. So t is equal to what is the time? 2.8 minus 1. Okay, 2.8 minus 1 that is equal to 1.8 second. 1.8 second. So substitute the values. So v is equal to u. What is u? That is 28 plus minus 10 into okay minus 10 into t uh, minus uh, t that is 1.8 okay so that's equal to 28 minus 10 into 1.8 that is 18 okay 18 so v is equal to 28 <coughs> minus 18 that is that is 10 meter per second so v is equal to 10 meter per second so that is the speed of the stone one second before the one second before reaching the maximum height okay so clear so understand the concept okay so it is <coughs> so So the sixth question, okay, sixth question. So, <coughs> consider a tower, Consider a tower. <coughs> Let uh, uh, P and okay, so P and Q be two points in the tower. Consider a tower. Uh, P and Q be two points in the tower. So the distance of separation between the points. Okay. P and Q be capitalized. Capitalize. Okay. So the remaining height, the, the height from the top of the tower that is we take that is small h. Okay, small h. Small h. Right. Let uh, a ball is projected from the ground. So, this is the ground level. So, okay, this is the ground level. A ball is projected uh, vertically upwards from the ground. Let Tp be the time taken by the ball uh, from the point P to reach the maximum height of the tower and come back to the point P. Okay, let a ball is projected, so understand well, so a ball is projected from the ground, okay, ground vertically upwards. So let Tp be the time taken by the ball uh, from the point P to reach the maximum height of the tower, so up to this point and come back to the point P, okay. That is the total time, time of flight, okay, from the point to the, again to the point P. So similarly, let, let TQ, TQ be the time taken by the ball to from the point Q to reach the maximum height of the tower and come back to the point TQ, to, to come back to the point Q, okay. So what we have to find, so what is the, uh, let G be the acceleration due to gravity, okay, let G be the acceleration due to gravity, acceleration due to gravity. So, we have to find what is the expression for what is the expression expression for G what is the expression for G in terms of in terms of height 
TP and TQ. Okay, TP and TQ. So, while uh, we were discussing the concept, uh, so we have derived an expression for the total time of flight. Okay, the total time of flight uh, T is equal to 2 times root of 2 height by G. Okay, so this is the expression we derived. Okay, for the total time of flight. So, we have to that is what is the expression for G in terms of H, T, P and T, Q. So, the options are options are A 8 H divided by T, P square plus T, Q square. Option B 8 H divided by T, P square minus T, Q square. Option C, 8H divided by 1 minus Tp square plus Tq square. Okay. Option D, 8H divided by 1 plus Tp square, Tp square uh, plus Tq square. So, these are the four options for G. Okay, G. Clear? Okay, so we derived the expression for the total time of flight t is equal to 2 into root of 2h by g. Okay, okay. <coughs> so here capital Tp is the total time of, uh, time of flight, time of flight from the point P to the maximum, maximum height of the tower and come back to the point P. So in this way using this expression how we can write that is Tp is equal to 2 times of root of 2 into here what is the distance here h plus h ok. So h plus h divided by divided by g ok. So similarly we can write Tq it is a total time of flight from the point Q ok. So Tq is equal to 2 into root of 2 h by G. Okay. So, Tp square is equal to, so squaring Tp square is equal to 4, so this 4 into 2, that is 8, 8 h plus h divided by g, am I right? Okay, this can be also written as, that is 8 h by g plus 8 h by g, right? Okay. So, squaring Tq, so Tq square is equal to, uh, Tq square is equal to 4, okay, 4 into 2 that is 8, so 8 h by g, okay, Tq square. So, therefore, Tpq, uh, Tp square also written as, that is Tp square is equal to 8 h by g plus, what is 8 small h by g that is t q square ok t q square ok so from this t p square minus t q square is equal to 8 h by g 8 h by g so we have to find g in the question what is asked what is the expression for g in terms of h t p and t q so therefore g is equal to uh, okay, so G is equal to uh, 8 h divided by T p square minus T q square. So, this is the answer. So, what is the expression for G in terms of H, T p and T q? So, compare the option that is A 8 h by T p square plus T q square b 8h by tp square minus tq square so b is the answer okay b is the answer so using the equation that is total time of flight t is equal to 2 into root of 2h by g so this is the expression we are using in this question okay so uh, consider this is a tower p 
and q are the two points in the tower which are separated by a distance h and the remaining h distance of the tower is h okay so tp is the uh, a ball is projected from the ground vertically upwards let tp be the time taken by the ball from the point p to reach the maximum height of the tower and come back to the point p let uh, tq be the time taken by the ball from the point q to reach the maximum height of the tower and come back to the point q okay so we are using the equation so rearranging so we are getting that is g is equal to 8 h by tp square minus tq square clear so these are the four uh, six problems we discussed in this topic that is uh, motion under gravity so my dear students uh, one more problem section uh, i would like to add in this topic that is motion under gravity some six problems the remaining six problems uh, i will discuss in the next uh, session uh, so in that session some more uh, variety of problems we have to discuss uh, that is one ball is projected uh, vertically upward upwards okay at the same time another ball is uh, dropped from the height so at what time the two balls will meet at what height the two balls will meet such problems and uh, some parachute and helicopter so one parachute is flying uh, from that parachute a food packet is uh, thrown okay so what is the time taken by the food packet to reach the ground uh, what is the height uh, what is the max velocity final velocity of the food packet when reaching the ground so such such problems we have to discuss in the uh, next section okay next section that is under motion and the gravity so one more uh, problem section in this uh, uh, unit that is motion uh, <coughs> motion in a straight line so the remaining two topics that is the one is uh, graphical section uh, that is the motion in a straight line using graphs solving the problems uh, using graphs and the last topic is uh, uh, what that is a relative velocity okay so uh, <coughs> relative velocity so with that topic uh, we will wind up this uh, chapter that is motion in a straight line so after that with uh, more uh, energy um, with more enthusiasm more motivation with more inspiration and motivation given by uh, my students i will start the uh, second chapter that is motion in a plane okay stay tuned uh, stay tuned update the topic uh, uh, watch the topic uh, study the concept uh, uh, try to solve uh, more problems only uh, 6 and 12 problems are solving in the topics so by studying the concept and practicing these problems and uh, try to do a lot of problems uh, from the topic then only uh, then only the thorough will be uh, that is then only the topic will be thorough uh, thorough for you so my dear students uh, always uh, updated the topic update the topic a uh, lot of problems you practice okay wish you all the best thank you